Hello, my name is Hello to You, and uh, this is a video, another excitingly dangerous shoe review video, uh, the Sisyphean quest for shoe comfort, especially work shoe comfort, uh, and this is by request, so see those comments below, uh, you know, I read the comment, they wanted a follow up, uh, thank you for reminding me, I do a lot of videos. So uh, it's nice to uh, be reminded on which ones you are actually watching. And uh, since you leave a nice comment, if you leave nice comments, then I'll uh, be more in inclined to uh, do a follow-up video. So these shoes I bought several months ago. And uh, I'd say two to three months ago. So these are the um, uh, Bridgetown uh, shoes for Cruise brand. You can see the little logo there. That's the Shoes for Cruise brand. Now, most Shoes for Cruise uh, brand shoes that I've bought in the past are extremely uncomfortable. Uh, they are non-slip but uncomfortable. These were no exception. When I first put these on, um, man, like um, uh, the plantar, you know, like I didn't really get the plantar fasciitis, but uh, I could feel where that might go that way. There was a lot of um, uh, the uh, the calf muscle was really uh, would hurt, and also the bottom of my foot uh, would hurt too, right around this section here. So what I did was. And also, I was not impressed uh, at first. See the different tread pattern on the bottom here? We have these little things. The other shoes, they're pretty much covered. Now, there's an advantage to this, which there's not as much junk caught in the bottom of my shoe. Like, you can see there's no foodstuffs or anything like that really caught in the bottom of the shoe. Just a couple twigs from walking inside the, in and out of the house. But nothing from work. Um, this is restaurant work. So, like, you step on a french fry and you slide, you know, a mile in the other shoes which were more like this pattern in the back but this pattern here keeps the grit out so that is a plus but the overall gripping like uh, I was sliding for the first week after uh, about a week uh, and it, uh, there must have been like a little bit of coating on the rubber or something but the rubber got softer and it started to uh, be more of a non true non-slip shoe the way the other shoes for crews are so the advantage is the, the Shoes for Cruise uh, brand shoes is that you're not going to fall on your butt when you hit water. Uh, but the problem is they're really uncomfortable to start. So I did add uh, these Dr. Scholl's uh, plantar fasciitis insoles. They have a pad here and they have a pad on the ball of the foot too. And, uh, and that helps. <clears throat> but as a result of that, I buy my shoes a little bit larger. I usually buy them a full size larger than I would a normal athletic shoe. <clears throat> and in this particular model, the, Bridge, the Bridgetown model, I would recommend even going further. Uh, they tend to go a little bit small. So instead of buying one size larger, I would have bought one and a half sizes larger, maybe even two. Uh, because what I might do is the next time if I buy these again, I'll probably get the plantar fasciitis insole and then another set of those regular foam ones you can get for like a buck uh, on the bottom. What that does is a couple things. It prevents this insole from sliding around. And the other thing it does is those are easy to replace and those things, they do make a difference. So, But the problem is your foot is pushing up against the upper here because it's crowded. And uh, if you buy them too small, in, the, in your normal size, if you're going to put that much cushion in underneath. Uh, so that's that's my strategy anyway. Um, I do still, uh, after about a week though, uh, the shoes got more comfortable with this insole. Uh, they started to like flex a little better and everything. You can see like they're still pretty rigid. You know, like they they don't flex a whole ton. Uh, they flex, but it's not an easy flex. And uh, I do rotate these shoes. I don't wear them more than two days in a row. I rotate them out with another pair of shoes that I have from Shoes for Cruise as well. So I switch, and they're two different types of shoes so that my feet and the muscles aren't doing the exact same action, so that they're not getting fatigued, if you know what I mean. Also, sometimes if I have a particularly long shift, I will switch these out halfway through. So if I have a 10-hour shift, I'll switch these out about halfway through, about five hours in, if I can. Uh, one good thing <clears throat> about these shoes is I noticed that here... 
where normally this would rub up against the, my tendon or here against my ankle. That doesn't happen. Now, that may be a direct result of my elevating my foot base because of the insoles and my, my ankle is higher, but I've noticed that on other shoes, this will rub against the ankle bone, mine particularly. Everybody's, you know, anatomy is slightly different, but I noticed that this cuff does not do that. So that's pretty nice. And it isn't very rough. It's pretty soft. So I hope that helps you. And uh, so overall, not a bad shoe. It's 85 bucks or 89 bucks. Depends on which catalog you get. Some of them will knock like $15 off. They'll charge you for shipping. Some will give you free shipping, but they'll be full price. Uh, but that's about what I paid for it. And it's I know that's a little bit much. For, but they but they do seem to be lasting pretty well and um, unlike the shoes that have like the air pockets in them I'm, a, I'm I don't think these are gonna blow out or start making that crazy like squeaking noise every time you like take a step it's like sweet 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 you know like that drives me nuts so like especially if you're at work um, so I think these are pretty good um, worth the money but not perfect they're getting better or at least I'm getting better at picking the shoes that are right for me. But uh, that's, the, you know, there's still got a long ways to go. So anyway, that's my shoe review after a few months of owning these broken in, as it were. I hate that. I wish shoes were comfortable right when you buy them. Uh, my running shoes are, my New Balance shoes are, my, my you know, my regular athletic ones. Unfortunately, they're not non-slip. And the New Balance that I bought from Shoes for Cruise that are non-slip, I can't even believe they're New Balance. They're really uncomfortable. But maybe I'll do a review about those at another time. So that's the Bridgestone Shoes for Cruise review follow-up that was requested by a viewer. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. Subscribing helps me because then maybe I can quit this restaurant job and I can do reviews for you guys all the time, uh, which would be awesome. Uh, but for, unfortunately I can't do that unless you guys subscribe. And then if you like the video, like it. And then if you know, you want to share it, go for it. So thank you for your time. I hope you have a great day. Make it a good one. And I'm still out here looking for shoe comfort for you guys. So uh, if anybody wants to send me a pair of shoes to try out, I'll be happy to do that. That would be super awesome. So, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. And see ya. Have a great one.